All right, everybody, listen. You're inside, you're cooking, if you feel like you're just going through the motions in your current kitchen, it really may be time to get cooking with a new one. You'll be surprised to see what you can do with your space, or in some cases, what you can do with just a few small changes. This morning, Mike Washington is back from Ivy League Construction with some wonderful ideas for the busiest room in your house. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us back. Thank you. A, a kitchen is exciting. A new kitchen is exciting. It is. It's really the focal point of your whole house today. I mean, oh, it's obviously food preparation, but really it's the hub of a house. You know, when you have a party at your home, how many people really hang out in the kitchen? It's a mm -hmm. lot of people ga mm -hmm. gather in the kitchen. It's a homework place today. It's really the central hub of the house. It is. It absolutely is. And it, it, the, the kitchen is also the personality, I think, of the people who live in the house. For sure. I mean, there's so many different textures, finishes, different countertops, different types of cabinets that mm -hmm. you can use. It really can, uh, you, you can put a, your real fingerprint on your home and really personalize it for yourself. Yeah. And, you know, why think about putting in a kitchen for the next people who own the house? Put the kitchen in now for you. Take a look at what a new kitchen can do just modernizing and updating your home. Oh, for sure. You know, it's one of the things that we talk about in the home today is, mm. is as far as the kitchen goes, obviously you do want to uh, have some resale. Uh, it does control a lot of your budget in your home. The, the kitchen has so many different types of things and finishes you can pick from, um, but you really want to make sure for yourself to make sure that it's, yeah. it's functional for you. If you're a gourmet cook, hey, make sure that it's, that it's set up that way. You have the right burners, you have the right stove, you have all the right product there. Uh, if, if you don't cook that much, we can organize in a different type of fashion that the, the emphasis isn't on the cooking in that kitchen. Obviously, you're still going to have the essentials to be able to cook if need be, but you can, you can set it up any which way you want. Mike, if you have enough room, uh, can you actually put in an island for people? Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, we're not just kitchen remodelers. We are a full-service remodeling company. So we actually take down walls. You know, the open concept is real real uh, common today that we actually will take down the wall between the kitchen and the dining room. Uh, we put a lot of butler pantries in. We put a lot of islands mm. in today. And the island could have the cooktop in. It could have the sink in it. Um, it, it really just depends. Like, this is a, a sink, uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a large sink on the left, a small sink on the right. Mm -hmm. In this case, Case, the sink was in the uh, peninsula coming out of the wall, and the island was more for uh, eating area in this one. Uh, there's so many different options. And in fact, in the last picture and this picture, um, you'll notice if we go to the next one again, or back to the first one, there you go, hold it right there. You'll notice, take a look at your kitchen stove. Now, if you go to the big box stores, you don't see something like that offered. But if you don't want the top of that stove there, you can get that through Mike. See, Mike can help you with all that because he has so many different booklets of so many different um, appliances that you can get. I mean, the top of that stove would just kind of I don't know, interfere with how beautiful the backsplash looks up on that wall. So you don't yeah, have that, to have that. That client had a, uh, they did a lot of cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's actually, they consider that a slide in range. Mm. So the cooktop is there. It was gas, which most cooks, that's what they want to work with. Right. Uh, they, the built in microwave right above that, that's vented to the outside. Um, uh, and then the, the just outside of that picture on the right side there, that's where the refrigerator is. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something we're always talking about in the design process that the working triangle between the sink, the stove, and the refrigerator. Right. You want to have a good flow in your kitchen and also be able to work for you and then if you have children mm -hmm. to have a breakfast bar or a spot to actually sit down and have breakfast but necessarily have to set a whole table mm -hmm. uh, that's real common today also and I noticed also in that picture look at the way the sink is constructed because sometimes you want a little extra room but you don't need the double sink and in this case it's a, it's it looks like it went in with the same size of the previous sink but just having that little part over on the right hand side well in, in, in our case it's the left hand side as you're looking at it, it's wonderful. I mean, yeah. you know, just a little separation there. For sure. The, the larger section, obviously, is for cleaning, uh, doing your dishes. And the right side, you'll call that like a food prep mm -hmm. for like vegetables or fruit right. when you're getting ready to uh, prepare a meal. Uh, and, it, and it's a simple little thing. You don't really think much of it, but it, it does make life so much easier. Right. It really and does. Because you folks have done this. You're not new at the game. You can, no. you can advise people. You can stay within somebody's budget. You can show them alternatives if they want a certain look, but their budget doesn't give them that look. You can show, look, you can do it this way. And For that's sure. the beauty of having you folks there. And there's different types of cabinets, different mm -hmm. types of finishes, different types of flooring, countertops. Uh, there's so many different products out today that you can mimic uh, a real mm -hmm. high-end kitchen, but you don't have to break the bank to do it. Exactly. I mean, they make some laminate surfaces that look like granite. Beautiful, high-definition yeah. laminates today that you can even put a edge on mm -hmm. that look just like granite or a quartz 
but the budget, it, it's right. half the cost, not right. even. And, and, and in some cases, I mean, it wears like iron. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah and it camouflages everything. And it's, it's, really it's a, good a great fix. And, and realistically, we don't always have to do full gut out kitchens all the way to the studs. You can leave cabinets if they're in good shape and just mm -hmm. do countertops and backsplashes. Right. Sometimes we just don't want to do the kitchen for and the black and the backsplash just to freshen it up. Mm -hmm. new, just new countertops. Yeah, you're not going to talk people into something that they didn't originally have if they, if they can do it. You know it's what I mean? It's something they need. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really a budget. And then what are the needs of the homeowner who's actually living there? Right. And we always want to keep uh, um, cost in, in, in the back of our minds, but also make sure it's functioning properly for the people that are living there today. And also, Mike, too, you can do things like, hey, let's say you have a sink that's up against a wall. If you want, and if it's an outside wall, you can actually cut a window in there. I mean, you can do that. For sure. We always, you know, once we get down to the studs, we can, we're can. we also going to look for the electrical, the plumbing, relocation of windows, adding new plugs, more lighting. Yeah, more outlets. Yeah, you yeah. always can't have enough outlets in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, and also to make sure that the, the circuitry is split up back to the panel box right. uh, to make sure that you're not overloading circuits and having a fire issue in your house. And Mike, do you also add like 220 uh, circuits? We can add 220s, anything yeah. you need if it's. Uh, for uh, you know, t typically today there's eight or nine circuits that should go into a new kitchen. Mm -hmm. Most kitchens we go into and look at that are on the older side. They're only going to have three or four, mm -hmm. so we're always adding several circuits. If it is a 220 line or gas lines, if people want to cook with gas, whatever the need be for the for each individual person. Now, does someone need to, uh, to have a permit to do work like this in a kitchen? For sure. For for a typical kitchen, you're going to need a building permit, uh, you're going to need a plumbing permit, and you're also going to need an electrical permit. Uh, that way, all of our work is permitted out. Also in Inspected by the individual inspectors for their sep sec uh, section of the town um, and, and the division that they're in, if it's plumbing or electrical, to make sure everything is up to snuff. So there's another set of eyes coming in to make sure that what we are installing is up to today's code. And and the code really is the minimum mm -hmm. that we're not exactly looking to build to the minimum. Right. We always want to extend that and, and go out farther. But you take care of the permit. For sure, we yeah. take care of all the permitting. We take care of all the inspections. Mm -hmm. So when your job is completed, it's all inspected and permitted up properly. Oh, and you're I'm going to absolutely love it. You also have a, a lot of ideas where people should get to your website and For see sure. what's there. For sure. You can go to our website, which is ivyleeconstruction.com. Um, if you go to our kitchens page, there's an area that links to our Pinterest page that will give you hundreds and hundreds mm -hmm. of pictures of different kitchens we've done, uh, div give you different ideas. And that's something we really would uh, uh, hope you do before we even get to the house to look at it. Right. Just so you have an idea what you're looking for, types of finishes you're looking for, type of cabinetry. Uh, and also have a list of uh, problems that what is making it hard in your kitchen? Why do you want a new kitchen? What don't you like about mm -hmm. your kitchen so we can design it properly? That, that it really starts with a good design. You know what's great too? Once you get it down, it's so exciting. Um, you can actually move out of the kitchen for a while and just go out to eat for a few days. <laughs> and <it's laughs> well, nice. Mike and his guys are in there. <laughs> it's nice this time of year. You can get out and use yeah. the grill. Thank God. Uh, it is a little harder over the winter, but we do work in the kitchens year round. Mm -hmm. and, and it really is to you, Lou your kitchen, you don't really realize how much stuff you do in your kitchen. Right. And we're usually there uh, between two and four weeks, depending on the project. Well, you guys kind of, eh, you become kind of like family. Just about. Come we're on out and have coffee with the guys. For sure. Yeah. For sure. There's nothing that puts a smile on the, someone's face other than having their kitchen updated. It's, it's a wonderful, it, it really smells is. good too. It you does. Know? The it new really saw does. dust and all that good stuff. Everything in a new kitchen, it's a great thing. And the resale on it is, is tremendous. Right. It really is. Yeah. And, and everything is made today so differently than 20 years ago. I mean, you can pull the faucet right out, you know what I mean, and yes. use it as a sprayer. Just incredible. Yeah, easy slide doors. Uh, everything's dovetailed that we installed. Uh, you, it's, you can't slide the drawers anymore and slam them. They have all special hardware on them. Uh, it, it, the products today are phenomenal. Yeah. They really are. The, the products that you have are phenomenal. Take a look, everybody. Just a few ideas of what you can have. Your kitchen will be absolutely unique to what you want. Mike can do the tile and everything else. Listen, go to the website because they even have opportunities for you to get over to a Bison game. They can take dollars off on construction. What you want to do is get to ivyleeconstruction.com. But any job, whether it's just a little bit of an update for your kitchen or the whole Magilla, by all means, Ivy League Construction, they can give you the best advice to get the look you want. Located in Tonawanda, they work everywhere. Give them a call at 875-8654 or log on to ivyleeconstruction.com and like them on Facebook.